Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's stability test, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Uplift V2 commercial product. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch our stability videos before, we like to look at a standing desk stability, both left to right, what we call wobble, or front to back, what we call rocking, at various heights with various weights applied to the surface. Now, if you'd like to learn more about that, we've got a video linked in the top right-hand corner of the screen for standing desk stability explained where we'll go deeper diving into why we selected the different weights and the heights for these specific tests. Now with that, let's go ahead and jump into our first test for the Uplift V2 commercial. So before we do our first test, which we've got set up now at 100 pounds, as you can see, the setup is the first thing we wanna take note of. It does have two cinder blocks and then some smaller dumbbells and the weight of the surface to hit that initial 100 pound mark. We're gonna be looking at 100 pounds, 200 pounds, then we'll be maxing out 355 pounds on this at four different heights. This desk has a range of 22 and a half inches about up to about 48 and a half inches. So we're gonna look at the bottom. We'll look at a couple heights in between and then we'll max the desk out. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start our first test. This is again, the lowest point for this particular model. So 22 and a half inches. You can see zero movement at all at this point, both with the front to back rocking motion and the wobble that we checked before. We're gonna jump up to 39 inches, 39 inches is the average height for standing for an average height female in the United States, which is about 5'4". And you can see this desk does have a traditional cross support between the legs. It also has a cross support up underneath the surface, which you can't see. Both of these are gonna help with stability. So you can see at this height, rock solid, there's putting a lot of effort into it. There's no movement there. Now front to back, rocking, same thing. At 39 inches, the Uplift V2 commercial with the 100 pounds applied to the surface has no movement at all. It's very, very stable. Now when we get to 42 and a half inches, same thing with rock, or excuse me, wobble. This thing's really solid. There's no movement there. The front to back rocking motion, you can see there's a difference here now. There is a big difference between what this was like at 39 inches now at 42 and a half. You can see it in the columns. You can see that I am able to get it rocking. Now is it stable? I think it's still nice. It's still a nice, you know, solid table, but there you can get it rocking here at 42 and a half inches, which isn't a great sign because this desk does still go up quite a bit more up to about 48 and a half, which we're going to go to next and we're going to see how it performs once we get up there but it's definitely something you wanna take note of. Now when you're here, this thing again, you can, kinda, you can kinda get it moving, but I mean, the frame itself is just really solid throughout. Everything's kinda moving together. You can kinda get it going back and forth, but again, that's, it, it's nice and solid below. This is really what I'm more concerned with is this front to back motion. Now this desk is fully extended at this point. So we talk about this at great length. When you take a desk like a, this particular model and you go fully extended, there's gonna be the least amount of overlap in the columns. So this kind of motion here, this kind of movement, this isn't uncommon. I'm not really surprised. It's the fact that it happened at 42 and a half inches, which is probably the bigger issue. You know, once you get up here, you can expect this from almost any standing desk that you're gonna have some issues, especially front to back with rocking. So. All right, so the next test we're gonna do is the 200 pound test. We'll bring it back down, get the desk set up, and then we'll be back. So our second test setup is at 200 pounds. You can see we've got the six cinder blocks, the smaller dumbbell here, the weight of the surface. The desk is at the lowest point, so we're gonna go ahead and see what it's like for wobble. You can see nothing, no movement at all. Front to back rocking, same thing. Just a tank here at the bottom. We're gonna jump up to 39 inches and see how it performs there. Okay, at 39 inches, as expected, with the cross support, it's, there's no movement there. Now front to back rocking. You know, when we looked at the 100 pounds, we could see that there, you did have the ability to get this thing going. So, you know, I wouldn't say that this is a problem, but at, at 39 inches, I wouldn't say this is a problem. But the fact that it's starting to move, it's something to consider for sure. I know once we jump up to this 42 and a half inch mark and we do that front to back rocking test, it will be more amplified for sure. 
This thing is really solid left and right though. You can see I'm pushing pretty hard into it to get it to move. But when we look back here at this rocking, this is where you're able to get it kind of to move here. Now, again, it's not, we've tested a lot of desks. This is def, it's definitely not the worst desk here at all, but it's just, there is movement here. So it's something to take note of once you get more weight on here. It just will continue to amplify itself a bit more. When we take it up to the max height, we're gonna see that those things are just gonna get a little bit worse, but to be expected again, when at full extension, but you can see there's some movement there and it's fully extended, so that's to be expected, but it's still really nice and solid through the whole frame. You can see it in the video, how everything's kind of together as it moves, but this one is the weak point of this particular model as we get up here the highest range, the front to back rocking for sure is gonna be the weaker point for this particular desk, which, you know, you, you've watched the wobble meter and if you haven't, I would recommend it. You can see that's where you can see the performance changing during the wobble meter testing. So we're gonna bring it back down and then we're gonna do the final test, which is the max 355 pounds and see how it performs at those four different heights. For our final test, we've got the Uplift V2 commercial set at its max capacity, which again is 355 pounds. It's a ton of weight. We're gonna see how it performs at the four different heights. So we've got it at the bottom height. We'll go ahead and see what it's like here with the wobble first. You can see no motion there at all. Nice and solid. Front to back rocking, same thing. We're gonna jump up to 39 inches. At 39 inches, not surprising. It's really stable left to right. Now front to back, you can see there's a little bit of motion starting here with all this weight on the surface. It definitely has, this is the weakest point is the front to back, which we've seen through the other testing. Let's see how it does at 42 and a half. I imagine it's going to be nice and solid here. You can kind of get it moving, but it's, it's still really solid. It's a lot of weight on there, but that cross support helps a lot. Now front to back, the rocking, you can start to see that motion is, is more pronounced now. You can kind of push on it with just my thumb. You can see the movement through the columns. So at 42 and a half, that rocking with all this weight on there is definitely more noticeable. Now we'll max it out, take it up to about 48 and a half and we'll see how it performs. This is, this is going to be the absolute worst that this desk will perform. It's got the most weight on it. It's fully extended. So I wouldn't expect for this to be the best that we've seen from the desk. And as you can see, you are able to get it to rock with all this weight on there, excuse me, wobble with all this weight on here. But again, ton of weight. Now the rocking. That's the easiest that I've tried to get it to move and it, and it moves pretty easily, but a lot of weight on there. So with the V2 commercial product, the traditional cross support, compared to their standard V2. It definitely helps with lateral stability. I know that they have a wedge system on their standard V2, which is one of the reasons why it does pretty well without a traditional cross support. There is a big difference though on how their commercial performs versus their V2 when we look specifically at left to right wobble. And it's, you know, it's very solid through the entire range of motion. Only when we get fully extended with 355 pounds on it, does it really get to be somewhat noticeable and you gotta kinda of try hard at that point. Now, front to back rocking, it doesn't do as well and a lot of that is even something that we were seeing down as low as 39 and 42 and a half inches depending what the weight was. And we've seen this in the wobble meter testing. So if you haven't seen that video, we'll link to it so that you can check it out. We saw that that is the weaker point with this particular frame. Left to right was great, front to back there was some motion there and that was likely due to overlap in the columns so they can get that extra range. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, help us out, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you catch all of our standing desk content that we've got coming out here in the future. Thanks a lot for watching.